where my wife is. People don't just disappear. Witches. You don't see, but you will. Hey, my guy, how you doing? Yeah, he's some great, man. Thank you. No oh, problem. Thanks for taking time out speaking with us. Getting right into it, with there never been a series like this on TV before, tell our viewers what The Changeling is about. The Changeling is uh, a love story set in New York um, that starts out as a very simple tale of two people coming together. And then the truth and the kind of power of that love starts to unfold and we peel the skin of the onion. Uh, they have a child, but a mythology and a story interrupts this beautiful marriage, this kind of moment um, in which their, their child, well, turns out to be something other than they expected. Um, not to give any spoilers, but it's a, a show that pulls in magic realism and horror and thriller and all sorts of different genre tones into this tale of postpartum depression, uh, first time dad, being a mother, um, the trauma and joy of a child and the responsibility of that. And it weaves in lots of, you know, mythologies and fantasies as we go through the season to the end. Um, it just keeps expanding and, and getting more complex and rich and magical. So it's a really wild ride of a show. Yeah, all those elements make it a definitely great show to watch. It's always on the edge of your seat to see what's going to happen next. You're directing episode seven, which to me is kind of like the full circle episode. But tell our viewers about next episode. Uh, well, episode seven, penultimate episode, is the story of Apollo's mother. So that's Lakeith's character. Um, it's a it's it's a part that isn't in the book, so it's an expansion on Victor's work that Kelly wrote based on you know her own experiences as a, as a mother in tandem with the characters that we'd already kind of encountered. So it expands a kind of feminine perspective on the story of the Changeling. Um, in it, we get to really examine this woman's life. She has this dark night of the soul in a, in a New York hotel that, in which all her memories of her moving from Uganda, being a first generation immigrant, having a child, finding love, falling out of love, all the pressures of being a black woman in America um, come to bear on her. And she examines this in this one episode. And as a director, we use lots of different ways to immerse the audience in the kind of emotional experience of that. Um, so the magic realism that's been teased throughout the, the, the season um, is like expanded here and will be in the next episode. And we use lots of ways to just put you in this moment where she's able to look back across her life and examine her complexities. It's a reckoning and a remembering and, and a way of shifting guilt um, the trigger of all this has been a fallout with Apollo at the end of the previous episode. And this episode seven is when she gets to push against that and release herself from it, hopefully by the end. But it's a it's a wild visual ride of a piece of TV. I guarantee you that. Yeah, definitely. Then you got to talk about the experience of working with the amazing Anita Porter on this episode. How was it? Listen, Miss Adina is a... <laughs> because this stuff is is not easy to land as an actor. Like her episode is basically her having a conversation with her son. So she's recording into a tape player um, all her regrets and the paths and admissions and omissions and all the things they've been through. Um, so it's a one woman show essentially. She's supported by her younger self, the actress uh, Alexis Lauder and Jared plays um, Lillian's husband in, in other parts of the whole, the whole episode. But yeah, Adina anchors the whole thing and she is phenomenal. I mean, there's one moment that is basically a simple remembrance of a picnic that she had, which sounds really simple said out loud, but when you see the moment in the show and when I was watching it as a director on the monitor, I was just like a fan, just staring at her be able to just bring this whole thing to vibrant emotional life. She's a phenomenal actress and I'm just, I was proud to protect her performance um, and 
Kelly was so supportive in creating, writing, um, it, allowing me to like magnify the visuals of what could be. Um, it's a really rare piece of TV, so yeah, Adina, Alexis, Jared, who all kind of uh, they play a big part in my show. Um, I owe them a huge debt of gra gratitude, and you know, in this moment, um, I can't wait for our actors to you know be back at work and uh, taken care of in a way that they should, because without them, we don't have a show. Those type of amazing performances. Yeah, she's amazing in that whole episode. And then before we wrap, you have to tell everybody if they haven't already been watching it, why they need to watch the chain link every week on Apple and binge watching. Yeah, it's a, it's it's a it's a dense, complex, magical, mythological story. Um, I mean, in the landscape of TV, there are very few shows with predominantly black cast at this elevated level of complexity. We don't often get to see ourselves like this. It's often reserved for, for other folks. So for me as a black director, getting to put together, you know, uh, an episode like this alongside other directors and this amazing talent. So come and see some of the best talent in the industry. Um, be great, be complex, be brave, be artistic in a story that will take you on a ride from the contemporary to the past to well no spoilers as to where we go in episode eight but um it's a really rare piece of tv full of incredible black talent so come get engaged with these characters and enjoy the ride definitely well thank you again for taking time out we have to wrap but i appreciate you with urban bridges i'm looking forward to what you direct next again i love the episode continue success Thanks so much. Thanks for this conversation. You don't see, but you will. The reason I said no to you when you first asked me out. Do you want to go to dinner, dinner with me? Mm -mm. And the six times after that. Hey. No. 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 Is because I'm moving to Brazil. Will somebody wear me to the fair? When I got there, mm. there was a lake there, a lagoon. In her they told me not to go, but... I didn't listen. She told me I had three wishes. When it falls off my wrist, those three wishes will come true. <laughs> Do not cut it. <laughs> Emma, with me, all three of your wishes will come true. Don't know why. Would you even know? There's no sun up in the sky. If you crossed into a fairy tale. Stormy weather. A storm is coming. There are portals in this world that we may never know we've trespassed through. Life is bad. Gloom and misery everywhere. Stormy weather. I need to know where my wife is. People don't just disappear. You don't see, but you will.